Hey, I'm Jason. In this video we're going to replace the hard drive in an iBook G4 14 inch computer. Um, you should already have the top case off and you don't need very many tools compared to taking the top case off is going to be a breeze. Um, you just need a little Phillips screwdriver and a Torx 8 screwdriver or uh, some pliers and I'll show you in a second why you need those. But first you just need to take off these four screws. side and then you just can kind of lift up on it pull this little thing off and it's a it's anchored underneath the motherboard actually so I'm sure you have to remember that and there's some tape here you can take that up and uh, just pry this mullets connector off and then the hard drive is free to come out now take this other one off now here's where the little screws are, the torque screws. You can just, like I said, grab a hold of them with little pliers, using those pliers, or um, unscrew it the easy way. In these models, Apple used really nice Toshiba hard drives. Um, they last a long time. When you buy a new hard drive, you know, don't mess around. Don't get like a Hitachi or Fujitsu. Those are just going to go bad again pretty soon. Get something like, um, I'm going to put a Seagate back in this computer. Um, you can get, you know, Mac Store, Western Digital, any of those are great. Um, this little connector here, you, you can, you want to be gentle with this. I don't like just yanking on this because it can really hurt it. Um, you don't want to break the cable, it's kind of annoying to get another one. So you just kind of rock it back and forth till it pops off. And yeah, set that aside. So yeah, this larger drive in. It's pretty simple, we just have to put these little screws back in. simple now I'm fumbling Those are all screwed in. Put this little ribbon cable back on. Just the same way you took it off. Line up the holes and push it in gently. Okay. Now put this little side back on so it has something to butt up against. Backwards. There we go. That's better. And I'll thread this through the bottom again. I'm going to screw this in a little bit and then I'll attach the ribbon cable. You don't want to forget to attach the ribbon cable, that's a real bummer.
attach the cable. So we'll line it up with the channel on the motherboard. And push it in, make sure it's nice and in there, and retape it back down. And that's it, you just put the top case back on and you're good to go with a new hard drive.